Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Tuesday, June 11, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from 1 Samuel chapter 5, reading from verse 1 to 6, and it says, And the Philistines took the ark of God and brought it from Ebenezer unto Ashad. When the Philistines took the ark of God, they brought it into the house of Dagon and set it by Dagon. And when they of Ashad arose early on the morrow, behold, Dagon was falling upon his face to the earth before the ark of the Lord. And they took Dagon and set him in his place again. And when they arose early on the morrow morning, behold, Dagon was falling upon his face to the ground before the ark of the Lord. And the head of Dagon and both the palms of his hands were cut off upon the threshold. Only the stump of Dagon was left to him. Therefore, neither the priests of Dagon nor any that came into Dagon's house tread upon the threshold of Dagon in Ashad unto this day. But the hand of the Lord was heavy upon them of Ashad, and he destroyed them and smote them with hemorrhoids, even Ashad and the coast thereof. Amen. We thank God this morning for his words. You see, a lot of us like the Philistine, we take God for granted. And we don't seem to realize that God must be respected. He must be feared. He must be reverenced because he is God. And remember, the Ark of the Covenant, it was a consecrated piece of furniture that was kept in the temple or kept in the sanctuary. So after they defeated Israel, they took the Ark of God. And remember, the reason why they defeated Israel was because Israel was disobedient to God and so God delivered them to the Philistine. So, yeah. And so they took the Ark of God and they, of course, take it and place it in their temple of their God, Dagon. Dagon was the the God of the Philistine, their idol. And they set the Ark of God, God Holy Ark, and put it in their temple of abomination. And of course, God showed them who is God. Because somehow those who worship idols don't seem to understand that they are flawed in their belief and their concept of God. Furthermore, you are serving a God that is not able to do anything for you. He can't speak to you. He can't bless you. There's nothing that he can do, but they are so convinced and convicted about what they believe. They can't see the truth. And so one thing we can take from this is that God, as I said, must be reverence. And once you and I are in the presence of God, we must give him reverence. Dagon had to bow before God. When the people came out on the morning, they saw Dagon fall on his face flat before the Ark of the Covenant. Huh? Reverence. Even the stone have to show reverence to God or whatever they made it out of. Even the stone. So creation knows who God is. How is it that human can't seem to understand who God is. And so, not knowing, I guess, they haven't yet understand what took place. And so they put Dagon back up. And the next day they came up, what happened? This time, he not only fell down, but his head broken off, his foot, and so he was broken in pieces, just the stub was left. Sin cannot thrive in the presence of God. And that should tell us something that if we have sin in us we cannot stand in the presence of god and so when we think about even the furnitures that are kept in the church we must understand that these things are consecrated for only use and they must not be used to do any and anything and i have seen where people take the furnitures in the church and do just about anything they please sometimes and that should not be because just like what happened to Hashad 
and the Philistine. If you and I are not careful, God is going to destroy us. He's going to strike us with hemorrhoids, whatever form that hemorrhoids take. But understand that we don't trifle with God and the things that are supposed to use for His purpose. We must understand that when we don't give God the respect that He deserves, when we don't obey Him, just like the children of Israel, they are going to be punished for their sins. As I said, the reason the Ark of the Covenant fell into the hands of the Philistine in the first place was because Israel was being punished for their idolatry and their sin that come up to God and God punished them by turning them over to the hand of the Philistine. And you know, back in olden days, once a nation defeat another nation, they normally take the spoils of war. And so the Ark of the Covenant became a spoil of war. And that's always it ended up there in Ashad. And so friends, may we not make the same mistake like the children of Israel or even like the Philistine, but may we show reverence to God, may we be obedient to God, and may we get rid of the idols out of our lives and don't commit any abomination before Him. God bless you and God keep you. Amen.